when I first started racing it, I realized I liked it. I loved the sport, but I had no idea what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So going with NASA and going through the HPD program was almost like a free school. And it yeah. taught me a lot in how to go get where. Um, and then just sticking with it, you know, we've had so many friends and so many good experiences with it, so I just want to stay with NASA. Time trials was a bit more of an easier transition over wheel to wheel, and I was putting a lot of money into a Miata, and I figured if I was going to uh, break it, or if anything was going to go wrong, crash it, what have you, mm -hmm. and if it was my fault, I could live with myself, if it was someone else's fault, I probably wouldn't be too happy. Mm -hmm. uh, so I decided to stay away from wheel to wheel, uh, but we're building another car for wheel to wheel currently. It gave uh, a lot of our advanced drivers a way to, to measure themselves against each other. It also, uh, it's got a great contingency program where they can get tires and brakes and you know, sort of other things as well. And it and it made it so that they could perfect their own skills. Uh, it, it made them pay attention to lap times, uh, work on their cars and uh, set up and so on instead of just driving for the fun of it. Um, so it actually, it makes better drivers in the end. Time trials is a gateway to racing, so a lot of people that are working their way up through, they started in HBD1, they've graduated through each one of the steps, got up to time, you know, up through DE4, now they're ready to, for the next step, which is time trials. Okay. Uh, once they get to time trials, you know, they, it's a pretty easy change from time trials up to racing. I feel like TT is kind of that segue point. It, it gets you used to the competition aspect, the contingency aspect, the classing, a lot of the classes mirror wheel to wheel um, so it seems like it more or less settles you into the atmosphere before actually starting to race the car beside you versus racing the clock. You can contact your uh, regional TT director um, or talk to the uh, regional director and they'll be able to point you in the right direction and get you the steps. You can also go to uh, the time trial website on the NASA homepage and that'll get you the information that you'll need. Feeling like you're having that competition who can be the fastest driver, not only fastest against other people, but uh -huh. overall qualifying, setting the fastest time is something really cool that I enjoy. Yeah.